Did I, did I say something to make you uh, uncomfortable? Yeah, you did. I, mean, I, I don't want to hear about your personal life. I mean, when it comes to Michael Morgan and Christina, <laughs> maybe. But, you know, keep the rest to yourself, especially about Brenda. <laughs> what do you mean, especially about Brenda? Stop me when I do that. Ask you too many questions like we have a relationship that we don't have yet. See, I just said yet. gonna give up on us being a family no matter what I you really say wish, I really wish you would really well that's I'm not going to and but it's not right of me to pour the feelings I have for Brenda all over you and the thing is she makes me happy I just want to share it with someone for how long what do you mean well you know I, I that everything's all new and exciting right now and, you know, fraught with your tortured past, but what happens when it becomes routine? You, you, you're gonna get on your nerves. You're gonna be bored. <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. What do you mean? Look, I get how much you care about her. And if, if you guys can build love out of ruins and hey, more power to you. But she's a special woman, so just be mindful and careful and Keep her happy. Leave me out of it. See you, hey, Dad. Good to see you. Thanks for meeting me here. I mean, isn't this great that we can just see each other whenever we want? Yeah, it's great. Now, listen, I gotta, I gotta, I'd love to see you, but I gotta meet Brenda. Is this an emergency? I don't know, Dad, you tell me. What? Look, I, I know that uh, being with Brenda makes you happy. I, I can see that. It's great. I've never seen you so happy. But, um, I keep thinking about what you told me. Remember when you said that you and Brenda loved each other too much? Uh, if two people are bad for each other, you can't just blow that away, right? Carly put you up to this. I know she No, did. she didn't. <clears throat> I haven't even talked to mom about Brenda. It's not that. It's, <laughs> all right, it's, all right. it's just a lot of time has passed. Yeah. Right? And um, what if you get back together with Brenda and you realize you don't feel the same way? Okay, right? stop. Stop right there. You shouldn't be worried about me. I'm your dad. I'm the one that, that should be worried about you. I'm fine. And I'm fine, okay? With Brenda and I, we, we got a second chance. And we're going to take it. She knows you're coming. So I should expect her downstairs in about, what, two, three hours? Well, you can go knock on the door if you want. I might have go up there because I know it's just going to make it worse. But it gives us time to talk. Uh, about what? You did a security check? Yep. Satisfied? Yeah, I mean, if you have to take Brenda someplace, it's acceptable. Now it's your turn. Uh... My turn for what? Well, I've heard it from uh, Michael, Dante, Carly two or three times that, you know, it's a mistake to be with Brenda because she's going to hurt me. I'm going to hurt her, leave the past in the past. Well, it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks except for you and Brenda, right? I appreciate you saying that because, you know, we have been friends for a long time. But if you got an opinion, I'm willing to hear it. Well, you know... I I mean, I, I used to believe that if something was over, it was done. You know, you just let it go. Hopefully you can move on. You can learn something. But when you love someone and it goes wrong for whatever reason, I just thought if you're going to try again, you're kind of setting yourself up for disappointment. That was then. What about now? Well, you know, with Sam and I, it didn't work the first time. But we got another chance. With everything that went wrong, we still found... We still found out there was love there, and we tried again. Right. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. So I can't sit here and judge you and Brenda. How does she feel about Brenda invading your life? She hates it. I mean, she puts up with it. She doesn't complain about it. If you hadn't brought Brenda back, you know, this wouldn't be happening. I know. I just, I just wanted to keep her safe. I understand, and I appreciate that. And I, and I'm, I promise you, as soon as the danger's over, I'm gonna get Brenda out of here.
That would be good. Hey, have you seen my cell? Oh, here it is. Hey, how long have you been waiting? How long? Oh, well, I, why didn't you tell me you were here? Well, we were actually, we were just talking yeah. about you. Oh, that's good. What are you guys yeah. saying? Well, he just said he's going to get you out of here as soon as he can. Where are we going? Can I see you first? I don't even change the subject. <laughs> What are you going to say next? That I was worth the wait? Always. Where are we going? It's a surprise. I like surprises. Let's go. Thank you, darling. It's completely pitch black. I can't see anything. together about our dream house. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. The house mm -hmm. that we used to talk about with all the glass and wood and the stone heated floors? What'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I didn't do anything. Do? This is amazing. I thought you'd like it. You'd I like love it. it. <laughs> it's perfect. with option. Um, we, wait a minute, this is too extravagant. You know, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't need to do this, right? I don't, I don't need you to do stuff like this. No, I wanted a place that we can call ours because we never had it before and we can have it now. Are you sure? I've never been more sure about anything in my life. 